Hello my friends, so welcome to 30 day of yoga challenge with Sunrise Yogi. Today we're gonna start sitting on our heels. Place your hands on your thighs, roll your shoulders back and close your eyes for a moment here. Just notice your breath and notice your body. How do you feel today? Is there any particular tension in your body? Just take a note of that in your mind, so there's no judgment. We're just checking in with ourselves. And drop your chin down and gently open the eyes and stretch the gaze to the front. Roll your shoulders up and back. And then extend your hands in front of you, interlacing the fingers. And then extend your hands away from you, rounding through the upper back. Separate your shoulder blades. Breathe into your upper back and breathe into that spot between your shoulder blades. Then come back to center and now point your palms in front of you. And then move your hands up and over your head. Stretching through the whole body, becoming very long and tall here. Stretching your heart to the far towards the ceiling, finding long spine, long waist. Then as you exhale, release your hands and come all the way to your tabletop, your all fours position. Now move your hips to your right side and then back towards your heels then up to the left side and to center and again right side back so we're making circles with our hips so big sway of our hips now make that motion fluid and try to connect it to your breath as you exhale you're walking your hips back as you inhale coming to the front and again and close your eyes to you here and try to find this connection with your breath and movement. Finding your own rhythm. And then just turn the direction, switch direction of your circle. So we're still exhaling as we go back, inhaling as you walk forward. You can add the movement through your shoulders and your neck here, or you can stay where you are. So it's all about you now. It's all about how you feel. Warming up the body, warming up the spine with a single small movement. And then come to center here to your tabletop. Now tuck your toes back, press evenly into your all 10 fingertips, strongly into your mat and then move your hips up and back, your downward facing dog. So this is your first downward dog, so allow your body to open gradually, pedal your legs here. Feel the openness through the back of the body opening through the hamstrings, through the hips. Bend your knees to, hit, to allow your hips to lift up and open more. Open your sitting bones towards the ceiling and release your heels down towards the mat. Find your steady position, your steady downward facing dog. And hold it there for a second, descending your heels towards the mat, stretching the calves, stretching the hamstrings. And then look between your hands, start shifting your weight into your hands, into the front body, and slowly walking your feet to the front of the mat. Now your belly button is close to your thighs, bend the knee as much as you need to and then hug your opposite elbows. Your weight is in your heels. 
Your front body hangs from the hips. Allow gravity to do the work, to do stretching. Feeling the stretch through the back of the body, through the lower back and the backs of your legs. Then start swaying from side to side with your elbows. Inviting stretch to extend over the side of your lower back. Over the side of your back ribs. Then find your center again. Release your hands down and start rolling all the way up to standing really slowly. Surrounding your back and your head will come last. And then roll your shoulders back and then open your hands to the side and reach all the way up towards the ceiling. Look up, then hinging from the hips, swan dive down to your forward fold. And once again, roll slowly up towards the standing. Roll the shoulders back, open the hands by your sides and lift them all the way up. And swan dive on your exhale, all the way down. Now release your hands on your mat. On your inhale, look to the front. And as you exhale, step back into plank. Squeeze everything towards the midline. Now use your lower belly. And as you exhale, lift your hips up and back. Now on your next inhale, lift your right foot back behind you. As you exhale, bring the knee towards the chest, shift the weight forward, and then step the foot between the hands. Inhale into high lunge. Lift your hands, lift your chest up and drop the hips, sink deeper here. Feel the stretch through the hip flexor. Breathe here. Keep opening the chest towards the ceiling, roll the shoulders back and feel the stretch in your left hip flexor. One more inhale here and on your next exhale, frame the front foot, step it back into plank, squeeze everything towards the midline and then engage the lower belly. On your next exhale, find your downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg comes up. Exhale, knee to your chest and step the foot to the front. Inhale into high lunge. Lift the chest, drop the hips. Feel the stretch through the right hip flexor. Roll your shoulders back away from your ears. Try to keep the relax, relaxed upper back. Use the gravity to sink a little deeper. Then inhale here and on your next exhale, frame the front foot. Step back into plank. Exhale into downward facing dog. And then from here, come down onto your knees. Sit back. Now we're gonna do a quadricep stretch, hero pose. So sit between your heels, if you can. So your knees are in line with your hips. Then from here, we're gonna start walking back to our hands. So option one, to stay here. Option two, to go down on your forearms, keeping the chest open. So this might be more than enough for you today. If you want to go further, come all the way down, laying on your back and hold your heels, feeling the stretch through the chest and through your quadriceps, hero pose. You might want to explore moving your hands over your head if you're in this variation. Give your front body really good full stretch. 
and then take your hands back now to come out of the pose move your elbows in come back to your forearms and come up all the way to sitting now from here we're going to come to our cross-legged position walk your hands in front of you to stretch your lower back to reverse the action from our hero so we're balanced and well-rounded maybe you can come down onto your forearms so you're grounding your hips back into the mat to feel the stretch over your lower back and come back up to standing roll your shoulders back place your hands in prayer over your heart feel the gratitude for your body for this practice today and the time it took to come to your mat namaste so my friends that's it this was our last day of 30 day yoga challenge i hope you can get something from this and to help you build a routine for your healthy life your happy life and to start your yoga practice so if you haven't subscribed yet please do so there's a button below this video that you can click to subscribe i'll see you again namaste